Hey YouTube, happy Friday. Um, wanting to do a, a gear review on this bag I purchased from uh, MotorcycleSuperstore.com. It is the Silky Terrier Magnetic Tank Bag. If you look at her paws, the, oh no, that's not it. Here it is. It's the Recon 19 Magnetic Tank Bag by Rapid Transit. Um, just got it yesterday and uh, it fits on my bike really well and uh, just figure I'll show you all the storage pockets in here there's tons of them and uh, let you check it out so starting the, from the outside and working in this is the way it goes on your on your you know if you were to be riding it this is the front this is the back uh, there's a clear map window here I got uh, was it Biker Boomers five questions in there to eventually do. Um, each side has a nice big pocket. Fit a good amount of stuff in there. And uh, over here, this is marked as sunglass sunglasses storage. I wear regular seeing glasses, so I just have all my earplugs stuffed in there and just purchased some yesterday um, moving along we have a cell phone case with a nice big clear window which I find handy because I have a uh, was it the T-Mobile G1 and the whole thing you know it's a touch screen phone so having the nice big clear window helps see it as opposed to just you know a little half window or whatever um, there's four magnetic points there's one here one on each side and then there's a, not a flat but there's a there's a magnet under there that'll stick on I, I rode a little bit with it yesterday probably 30 35 miles and that thing was solid it, it never moved on me and uh, it didn't get in my way either. The handlebars do touch if they're all the way turned, but it's not a problem at all. Alright, so let's get into this. Let's see if I can do it with one hand here. Alright, so if you open that main flap, you'll see you have two little mesh. Uh, I'm trying to get the light in here. I'm in my basement. It's real shadowy. Uh, two little pockets for valuables, cash, keys, lighter, whatever, you know. And then this zips down. And here's your main compartment. Since the bag's new, it's still kind of folded up and hasn't been uh, stretched out very much. But you'll see in here, second all right there's two pockets on the inside uh, came with backpack straps which are always nice so you can just take it off and wear it as a backpack and then this, what looks like the floor comes out and that is a perfect fit for a was it two liter um, platypus bag that I picked up at Walmart. It was 9.88, and it holds two liter of water, and you can uh, fit it right in here. And then the hose will come out here, and it can clip right there. So that's cool. I, I like the fact that I can stay hydrated. It's hard to drink a bottle of water with a full face helmet on. And uh, that is about everything. Uh, one feature I really like is this rain cover, which tucks in this little pocket here. It's actually attached with this, this webbing here, so you'll never lose it. It's always going to be on there in case you get stuck in rain. You just whip it out and you'll never lose it. And then also there's a little pocket on this flap for an iPod or 
any MP3 player you have, and there's another hole for headphones. So overall, for $80, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. The quality seems really good. Um, and on the bottom, it has kind of like a textured, it almost feels kind of rubbery. And it, supposed to save the paint on your gas tank it's not supposed to scratch it up or anything so if you're looking for a tank bag consider this it's nice and big holds a lot of things if you search recon or rapid transit tank bag on YouTube I think it's down in South America this guy packs a ton of crap in his it's a boring video probably not as boring as this one but uh, you know, he, he doesn't talk or anything. He just packs up a ton of stuff. So have a good weekend, guys. I'm going to a White Sox game tomorrow. If you're in a baseball, they're playing the Orioles, I believe. Uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you.